Our entire premise of these tax reform plans is to grow the economy and create jobs. It's a plan that's estimated to create 7 million jobs. Now, we think that government taking 28% of a family and business's income is enough. President Obama thinks that the government ought to be able to take as much as 44.8% of a small business's income. Look, if you taxed every person in successful small business making over $250,000 at 100%, it only run the government for 98 days. If everybody who paid income taxes last year, including successful small businesses, doubled their income taxes this year, we'd still have a $300 billion deficit. You see, there aren't enough rich people and small businesses to tax to pay for all their spending. And so the next time you hear them say, don't worry about it, we'll get a few wealthy people to pay their fair share, watch out, middle class, the tax bill is coming to you. That's why we're saying we need fundamental tax reform. First of all, I was there when Ronald Reagan tax breaks, when he gave specifics to what he was going to cut, no, number one, in terms of tax expenditures. Number two, 97% of the small businesses in America pay less, make less than $250,000. Let me tell you who some of those other small businesses are. Hedge funds to make six, eight hundred million dollars a year. That, that's what they count as small businesses because they're passed through. Let's look at how sincere they are. Ronald, I mean, excuse me, uh, Governor Romney on 60 Minutes, I guess it was about 10 days ago, was asked, Governor, you pay 14% on $20 million. Someone making $50,000 pays more than that. Do you think that's fair? He said, oh yes, that's fair. That's fair. This is, and they're going to talk about, you think these guys are going to go out there and cut those loopholes? The loophole, the biggest loophole they take advantage of is the carried interest loophole and, and capital gains loophole. They exempt that. Now, there's not enough. The reason why the AEI study, the American Enterprise Institute study, the Tax Policy Center study, the reason they all say it's going to taxes are going to go up in the middle class, the only way you can find $5 trillion in loopholes is cut the mortgage deduction for middle class people, cut the health care deduction for middle class people, take away their ability to get a tax break to send their kids to college. That's why they is arrive. Is he wrong at, about that? He is wrong about that. There, you, can, that? you can cut tax rates by 20% and still preserve these important preferences for middle-class taxpayers. Not mathematically it, possible. It is mathematically possible. It's been done before. It's precisely <laughs> what we're proposing. It has never been done before. It's been done a couple of times. Actually. It has never Jack been Jack Kennedy done lowered tax rates, increased growth. Ronald oh, Reagan. Oh, now you're Jack Kennedy. Ronald Reagan. <laughs> Republicans and Democrats. Republicans and Democrats have worked together on this. You know, I understand right. you guys aren't used but to doing bipartisan deals. But we told each other deals. what we're going to do. When we did it with Republicans Reagan, Democrats, he said, here, here are the we things said, we're going to cut. Framework. Here's Let's what he said. Let's work together to fill in the details. That's exactly... Fill in the details. That's how you get things done. You work with There's, Congress. Look, let me say it this way. Mitt that's Romney coming was from the Republican Congress working Mitt, bipartisanly. Mitt Romney. 7% rating. Mitt Romney oh. 